So yeah, I mean, if you're talking about the full deal here and I actually, I made a quick reaction video because we really didn't know. I mean, all the top insiders and Rick Dollywall, who's close to the Canucks was trying to figure it out. But I mean, when you look at this deal right now, this is a huge get for the Calgary Flames in terms of their whole package. But obviously this puts the Vancouver Canucks over the top in terms of being a contender. So, um, so I mean, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. It's Elias Lindholm to the Canucks. You've got Yanni Yermo, young prospect, 2020 third round pick. You've got Hunter Brustevich, who's Kitchener Rangers, and I've been able to watch him this year, guys. I'm talking about, like, one of the most dynamic defensemen in junior hockey right now. The fact that he got snubbed by Team USA in the World Juniors, obviously, they didn't need him because they still won. But, I mean, this guy is so dynamic. I think he has 69 points in 47 games right now. Um, so the fact that they got him in that deal, he's a right-shot defenseman. And he was already a steal for the Canucks in that deal. Uh, they got a first-round pick, a fourth-round pick. And Andre Kuzmenko finally gets out of Vancouver, uh, gets out of the Rick Tockett situation. And you know what, Kuzmenko, I mean, I think this shows, and Jeremiah, I know we've talked about it before, uh, this shows how impactful a coach can be on a player. Kuzmenko was a guy that was scoring goals left and right for the Canucks, was so successful in that system. And then you go to a more tighter system with Rick Tockett, and Kuzmenko's not as successful. I mean, he goes, he goes from basically a point-per-game guy to half a point-per-game guy. So... I think this is perfect for all parties involved here. I mean, I said it in my initial reaction video. I don't know how you can argue that the Canucks, if they put JT Miller at the center spot, which I think in a lot of situations they will, they have the best center depth in hockey. There should be no debate. You have Elias Pettersson, probably a top six, top seven center in the league right now easily. You have JT Miller who can play up the middle. And then Elias Lindholm, I think this year, his points don't do him justice. I think he is... I, I, you know what? And I saw Perlo your tweet. Maybe not the Selkie candidates we see like across the board, but I think in terms of his two-way ability as a think about this guy against potential third-line matchups. He's going to tear it up. I mean, he was just trying to be on the top line with the Calgary Flames. Now he's going to face third-line matchups with the Vancouver Canucks. So I am really excited about this deal. I mean, Jeremiah, I will say this. The fact that I swear all these big deals happen when I'm out or like work commitments or whatever. I mean, I see this deal drop and I'm just like, man, why can't I just be at home chilling for a night when these deals happen? But I mean, Elias Lindholm to Vancouver is absolutely insane. Um, and I think the conversation needs to happen about why do Vancouver and Calgary want to make all these deals together? They're in the same division. I swear, like I go back to like Sven Barchi and like all these deals they used to make together. And now they're making a huge blockbuster deal like this. I mean, that's my tangent for this trade, but I'll say this. Brustevich is a huge gap for the Calgary Flames in terms of the rebuild. Right shot defenseman dynamic, as I said. Yermo, I'll, I'll wait to see because he's played overseas. And I haven't seen him too much. But the fact that they got a first round pick and Kuzmenko, who I think will get a much better opportunity in Calgary as a primary guy. And I mean, with the younger coach as well, I mean, I think both teams won big here. I mean, Elias Lindholm was probably going to leave Calgary free agency. They got a top end prospect, a first round pick, and a roster player of a guy that can score 25 goals and put up 60 plus points. If you're a Calgary Flames fan, you are happy. If you're a Vancouver Canucks fan, you are happy. And sure, Chris Tanev wasn't in this trade, but I, uh, I don't know, guys. I have this sense that another trade might be coming. I think maybe it was a little complicated. Sure, Chris Tanev could go somewhere else, but I think the value in itself, Chris Tanev today could fetch a first round pick. So the fact that the Calgary Flames got this package just for Lindholm and they could get another first round pick for Tanev, this rebuild could happen really fast for the Calgary Flames. And then think about it, Noah Hannafin's still there. Like they need to figure out if they're going to re-sign Noah Hannafin or guess what? Alert, they could trade another, get another yes. first round pick. So they could get three first round picks plus top end prospects plus Kuzmenko for the trio of three and not spend money. Because I think, I think if the Calgary Flames could rewind, they would go, hmm, let's not re-sign Huberto long-term and flip them for assets and have all this cap space for our future guys. So they regret that mistake. And I think they're learning from that now and getting a bunch of assets. I mean, we're seeing crazy things right now, folks.